go down. Yeah, Clayton? No, you have to turn it off while you're up here, otherwise it's <laughs> I just, you know, just go big and just try to like do the most crazy funny thing, you know. Just experiment, try new stuff. I kind of gave up on the competitiveness once Julian was blowing me out of the water with his airs and Marzo blowing me out of the water with his turns. So, turn soul guy, you know, just I'm, I'm giving up on the whole uh, progressive sort of stuff. I'm just going for the uh, hippie sort of deal. Not caring the world.
today is going to be good, so hopefully the sun comes out. Go check a few secret spots. Oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. I do. Yeah. Going left. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> no right. and it's about half a million degrees in the shade. I'm not about a million degrees sexy. I'm born in Rainier Island. I lived there until around seven years old. That's where I start surfing. And then I start moving six months in Australia, in Newport, in Sydney, and six months in France. After two years, I won the WQS tour, and now I'm on the CT. I'm being the youngest surfer ever to, to qualify for the, the WCT. is definitely a big uh, achievement for me. I think that's, that's the ultimate thing. That's, um, that's what you want. turns in, in a row, many big turns in a row. Do one air and follow up by, uh, by a big snap, by you know, not just one turn. You can't be world champion in one turn.
Mom, I might be young and say, pretty much the happiest kid in the world. Well, uh, it's four in the morning. It's pitch black. We're in Bali. We're getting on a boat. We got no idea what it's going to be like, but we're going to G Land. single person out. Probably some of the heaviest, gnarliest, shallowest barreling waves I've ever surfed. Pretty much my dream after uh, being perfect waves, surfing with some of the guys I've looked up to for, for a long time, and um, yeah, it's sick. Oh my god, it was amazing. I never even thought I'd get an opportunity to, to get waves that good with so few people out. It was just, it was a special day. Yeah, g -Land, first time there, it was amazing, you know? Just perfect left-handers, me and Craig, you were just psyching. Sick. 
This is me organizing my life. <laughs> About every week or two I do this. So I, I just, getting back into packing my bags here. Um, got a bunch of boards. Uh, I think I got a, a 6.3 on the bottom here. I haven't ridden yet and I haven't stickered up or anything. That's a 6.1. And then this, this one here is a 6.14 fin I'm messing around with. Got some clothes that wouldn't fit in my travel bag. So I'll pack those around the edge of the boards and uh, we'll be off. So that's my, uh, that's my, my home on the road. Well, I like the theme of this film because it's almost like a race where the gun goes off and it's time to go. I love nothing more in the world. Nothing gets me more passionate than tracking a swell and, and flying after it, you know?
flies are looking really good again. Can't wait to get out there. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I think there's a really healthy, competitive battle going on between these guys. They really want to outdo each other silently and, um, you know, let their surf and do the talking. So, 
you know, they just saw somebody get a crazy clip, and now they got to step up and do it too. Clay's kind of a freak. He's um, he just pulls these nutty things, you know, but the thing is his technique is so good in setting things up the way he approaches the lip because he's so right above his board and his balance is good and you know he's just got a, a, an ability to see something and, and just feel it, do it without you know the thought behind it. You know he does this one maneuver that just is sort of beyond I think anything I've, else I've seen in the film. He gets this little barrel and he comes out and he just slams a lip you know, he comes down backwards right in the bowl and he just pops right back up and bang, he's just into something else. And he's like a cat in that way. He's got that ability to always land on his feet. <laughs> but I can feel a bit of intensity there, just a bit of, are you stressed in a Is it clay? Clay. C-L. Yeah, that's right. C-L-A-Y, like clay, like clay, like clay. Like clay, like clay. Oh my God, I'm Play, we play. <laughs> we can just make everyone feel so much happier when we see it. Don't you think, Clay? Okay, I'll get a steal you guys now. Ready? Play like a video. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, it's gonna be a good one. Get it out. What's going on there, Clay? Oh, that lady was tripping me up. Yeah. Well, what is she on, yeah? The controversial, ultra commercial, now universal, G-L-O-R-I-A. Jeremy is, he's, um, of, of all the guys in the film, he's the most refined, I think. When I saw him surf, at a young age, he looked like Tom Curran. That's the thing about Rai that stands out. His front side bottom turn off the top is, I, re, I just think it's second to none in the whole world. There's even one clip I saw where his board is facing straight down, the nose going straight down, and the bottom of his board is facing the beach. He fins out and, he, you know, he gets himself in such an extreme position. He's so talented. If he ever wins a contest, I'd give him $10,000. <laughs> you know we got that. He can quote me on that. <laughs> he just, it just doesn't seem like he wants to surf contests, you know? He'd rather go fishing, probably. I think Dane's heart is really in free surfing, and um, if he's able to translate that to competition confidently and with the same amount of enthusiasm, you know, the fun that he has going out free surfing. You know, it can be a frightening result for everyone else. If he can do that in contests, I think the problem is going to be the judges might not know how to deal with it. So they call you boys young guns for how you surf. Or is there another more interesting reason? I could never live. I gotta keep my little light on. Something outside of surfing. It's got nothing to do with your after hours activities? No? You don't think no. your style in the water parallels to your style anywhere else, like the bedroom? <laughs> I don't know, it's um, a weird question. Yeah, I watched Julian's clip, I think that chick kind of liked him in that. <laughs> 
Um, Julian, is, again, he's like that, I, I think of the young guns, he's that X factor. You just know he could pull these big things off left and right. And, and uh, you know, he's linking quite a few different things together and he's really effortlessly getting in the air. I could never live, gotta keep my little light on, gotta keep my little light on, till the day I die. and I live kind of by Diamond Head, Waikiki, Alwana. And I feel very lucky we have this long stretch of reef and beach that is just fantastic. It's playful and, and fun and it almost always has waves so no matter what we can go out there and have fun. trying to be creative and trying to push it as much as I can. I, I think um, it's fun to play around with things on the wave, yeah. I like to surf Kaisers a lot, and um, that's a, a right, and that's really nice and wally, and it's really fun. I'm inspired by all the kids who surf right now. It's fun to, we're all pushing each other to get better and looking at the pro surfers and seeing what they're, they're doing and what they've done is, is um, it's really an inspiration. I feel so lucky for the opportunity to grow up in Hawaii. It's a beautiful place and there's so much great surf and the people are, um, are so nice. And I'm lucky I have all my family here, so that's really nice too.
Yeah, when Quicksilver rang me about doing the, the retros for the young guns, I, I was stoked. It's, um, yeah, it's great to make boards for some of the best young surfers in the world and I was pretty excited about doing them and I, I was excited about seeing the footage and to see how they reacted to the boards and how they rode them. One was a 1979 single fin, round pin, um, the bottom quite wide, thick and flat. Um, one of the others was a 1980 twin fin, um, roughly about 19 and 3 quarters wide and 2 and 3 quarters thick. Um, one of them was actually a model that's one of the most popular models called a Super Twin, which is a modern board with a single or double concave bottom, twin fin set up with a little stabiliser in the tail. If you get them in a decent sized wave, um, you know, surf with a power style like um, plant your back foot and use the rails, they, they actually go pretty good. They're really, really different to what they're riding now. And I think that young guys especially, growing up in a thruster generation, riding very narrow, thin short boards, um, you know, it's a bit of a shock when you see old boards like that. They're so wide, they're thick, they're flat, they're heavy, and it's hard to imagine them actually going any good. So. I thought they would be apprehensive about riding them and I was actually surprised that they, they rode them. I thought they would just look at them and go, well these are cool old retros but we don't want to ride them. From a shaping point of view it's always great to see people surfing in boards and it's great to see hot young surfers surfing them and surfing really well on them and some of the footage of Julian surfing that was really impressive. I was like stoked to see the couple of waves I saw of him on them. There was one where he did a great roundhouse cutback and broke the tail out sort of into the white water. I actually watched it thinking, I wish I could still surf like that. I wish I could surf like that.
What's happened to the personalities in this sport? Mate, they were all there before. Not in the water, mate. They're still charging. Absolutely freaks in the water. On land, mate, they've all gone soft. Let's check a few things out. So, Clay, what's with the car? It's a Renault, mate. <laughs> That's not a car. That's a car. V8 XY Fairmont, 71. That's why I'm running it. Why wouldn't I have a look at her? It's the beast and it's unleashed. Give me a look at that CD. Is this what you've been listening to? Where's the rock and roll? Oh my God, is this the surfing these days? He can't even control his board, mate. He's sliding all over the shop. Oh, back in the day, it wasn't like that, I'll tell you. Hey, what are you drinking? What is this? <laughs> mate, I reckon I fixed him up. I fixed his car up, I fixed his music up, and even what he drinks. Does it get any better? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> 